great Thursday morning, January 7th, 2020. To God be the glory already. This is such a blessing to be able to experience another day. And coincidentally, or ordained by God, we are in the seventh chapter of Exodus, the same as the date. And there was one scripture that jumped out at me. Listen, before we get into that, how are you dealing with getting older? It's inevitable if you still want to stay around and stick around, you want to grow, yes, in every way possible. Grow spiritually, physically, get stronger, mentally, become sharper, emotionally, be able to deal with what's thrown out at us, right? Well, in verse 7 of chapter 7 in Exodus, it says, And Moses was four score years old. That means 80 years old. And Aaron, four score and three years old, 83 years old, when they spake to Pharaoh. They were given that assignment to be spokespersons, to be representatives, ambassadors of the Lord in their early to mid 80s. And I just passed a picture of my pastors from a long time ago and you see someone else who went on to glory. But these are examples of two people, three people who aged very well. They had the joy of the Lord. They had the strength. They were able to be resilient. They were able to have peace live in peace then they had dying grace and now they're resting in peace in the lord's presence well because today is the seventh we would have gone to psalms 37 and we are very familiar with that chapter how it says fret not thyself well that's the first key as far as resting and not stressing out about anything right but committing it all to the Lord. Oh, getting ahead of myself. But there are pretty much uh, seven verbs, <laughs> since it's the 7th of January. Mm, yeah, we will look at seven words and seven scriptures for us to age well, no matter what comes our way in 2021, especially all that craziness and chaos that we witnessed yesterday. Mm -mm. I believe that there's going to be some separations of relationships, separations, ties. I, I saw the chief of staff uh, gave his resignation and some other people said, you know, just walked away from the administration and were like, mm -mm, enough of this madness. Well, whatever comes our way, if someone leaves you this year, listen, how can you go through and still have the joy of the Lord in your countenance and in your frame. Well, verse three, you gotta trust. Yep, trust in the Lord, do good. So you will dwell in the land, you'll live, and you shall be fed. He will supply all of your needs, all right? If Boo wants to leave, hey, okay? Delight, enjoy, love also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of our heart that are aligned with his will. Yep, verse five, we're gonna commit, we're gonna give our all. Just like Moses and Aaron had an assignment, we have an assignment this year, no matter how long it's going to last. And we wanna commit our everything. Someone just told me yesterday of a new career, a path, they're going back to school in their mid fifties. You better go ahead and work until the Lord says, time is up. Commit your way unto the Lord. Trust also in him. And he's going to bring that to pass. You're going to graduate top of your class. You're going to get a great job. You're going to do great things. Oh, yes, you will. And while we're at it, he is going to bring forth our righteousness as the light. Huh? And thy judgments as the noonday. Yeah. Rest. Chill. Don't even get worked up over anything or anybody. Rest in the Lord, for not thyself, because of whatever someone else is doing. Nope. Cease. Don't let anybody get under your skin this year. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Mm-hmm. Fret not yourself in any wise to do evil, because you're above that. 
and the equation and the sum of all of these trust delight commit make sure that we have our light on rest cease is that we're going to have peace in verse 11 the abundance of peace because we're meek we can't do this of ourselves but it says meek shall inherit all the earth and we shall delight again we shall enjoy ourselves in the abundance of peace that the lord gives us every day not that the world can give and surely not what the world can take away no matter what happens blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth and like i said we are the peacemakers boy is there a time right now for peace yes and we are the peacemakers have a wonderful day enjoying in that abundance